Zimbali kili bragata lidididi. Faithful God, I am that I am. Mighty God, hey, ever living God, everlasting God, you are worthy. Ema zuba gada baya baba ba. Ema zebele brogo shinketelianda. Let's exalt the name of the King of Kings. Let's worship the name of the Lord of Lords. He is worthy to be praised. There is none like him. He is the everlasting Father. Is the glorious one, is the marvelous king, a labra gadele grege de brele gru shindeli and the zabagada, zimbaba ba lege lege de gede bragada, uje bele gru shangada da di and the zabagada, le braga de libre gesigacheli and that. Come on, begin to saturate this altar with the precious blood of Jesus. He is worthy, there is none like him. He is the beginning and the ending, O Lord. You are the rose of Sharon, lily of the valley. Bright and morning star, we praise your name. As the begaledo shangada li and the zebelede zumbra gadele de 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 de. As sukri gadele brusha ya gadoa le braga dali and the zebegaledo sha e braga zige le brusha ya de 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 zumbra ba 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 eli and the zebele de 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 maru baga zebele do sunkoto zimba ba ba legele bregede. We honor you. We worship you. We bow before you. Throne, we lift your name on high. Allega le braga de bro do do yo 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 yo. Em braga si kete kete anda zaba baba. E raba gade le gele braga de. Mazo ba ya baba 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 ba. E la braga de gide de le 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 le. Oze braga su kotoli anda. We worship you, O God. E sa braga si kete le kele bele gen. E braga su koto 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 li anda zebele do. Ji braba baba 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 Baba, e raba gaze ke le braga de le de 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 ma yebe ke te. Thank you, Jehovah. Oh, we bless your name. Thank you, Jehovah. We worship your majesty. Thank you, Jehovah. We give you praise and glory. We honor you, oh God. We magnify you, oh God. Ele be le be le be, jike le brege de be le de 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 de. Azi braga ya ba 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 ba, le ke le brege sogodo. Le braga de le braga di anda zaba le ke le braga da. E maze brege de. Oh, yabba, 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 yabba. We love you, O oh God. We magnify you, O oh God. We celebrate you. Thank you for your faithfulness and your mercy and your goodness and your truth. <laughs> oh, come on, give him praise. What a privilege to approach you before him this midnight hour. Daddy, we thank you for bringing us to the precipice of a new day. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege to approach before your throne. Thank you, Lord, the God who answers prayer. The Bible said, unto me shall all flesh come. Why don't you give him praise and say, Father, we adore you. Father, Father, we come before you. Father, we declare that you are God. Father, we declare, I will love you. Yes, we love you. We declare everlasting love for you. Invite somebody, invite somebody for this midnight watch. Call somebody to join us. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare everlasting love for you. Hey, Father, we declare that we love you. We declare everlasting love for you. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare everlasting love for you. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, Jebaya Baba Baba, Le Braga de Le Braga de, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, Jebaya Baba, Le Brege Sigede. There is no one like you. Alpha and Omega. There is no one like you. Oh, and I'm keeping God. Yes, Lord. There is no one like you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Yes, 
We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. We give you glory. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, oh Lord, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you, you are wonderful, you are worthy, oh Lord, you are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh. You are glorious, so glorious in this place. We sing to you, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, you are glorious, so glorious in your ways. Oh, you are wonderful, you are wonderful, so wonderful in your ways. You are powerful, you are powerful, so powerful in your ways. Hey. And you are mighty, you are mighty God, so mighty in your ways. Oh, Yahweh, Yahweh, you are glorious, so glorious in your ways. I just want us to begin to worship him. Let's indeed declare that he is glorious. Let's declare that he is powerful. Let's declare that he's wonderful. Indeed, he is Yahweh, he is El Shaddai, he is Jehovah. Begin to give him praise. Let's celebrate him. Let's tell him that he is wonderful, he is mighty, he is awesome, he is the king of glory, he is holy, he is mighty, he is Yahweh, he is indeed glorious in his ways, he is wonderful, he is powerful. Father, we worship you, Father, we magnify your name. Father, we give you praise. Uh, Father, we give you worship. Be thou exalted. Holy one, we worship you. We magnify your name, Jesus. We thank you because, yes, you are the Lord. There is none as holy as you. There is none as kind as you. Father, we worship you. Now, be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are powerful, you are powerful, so powerful in your ways. In Jesus' mighty name we have worship. Oh, we're going to be praying for our singles and our expectant mothers. And I just want us to begin by giving God thanks. Uh, I want us to begin by giving God thanks for all our singles in Nehemiah Troop ministry. I want us to thank God. I want us to thank God for every singles, for all our singles in Nehemiah Troop ministry. I want us to thank God. Let's give God thanks because we know that all things are, are working together for the good in the name of Jesus, let's begin to give, give God thanks. Father, we thank you, oh God, for all our singles. We thank you for what you're doing in their lives, oh God. Oh, we thank you for this time of preparation. We thank you because all things are working together for their good in the mighty name of Jesus. Next prayer point, I want us to, I want us to, 
say father we ask that by your mercy oh lord you will cause all our singles to delight in you in the name of jesus begin to pray that father by your mercy you will cause all our all our singles to delight in you in the name of jesus and as they delight in you lord you will grant them their the desires of their heart in the name of jesus the bible tells us in psalms 37 verse 4 it says delight yourself also in the lord and it shall give you the desires of your heart begin to pray now father as we, we we ask oh god now by your mercy you will cause all our singles to delight in you and as they delight in you lord you will grant them the desires of their heart in the name of jesus father we give you praise father we worship you oh the next prayer point I want us to pray and say, Father, we ask that you will grant all our singles the grace to obey every instructions, Lord, that you have given to them to the letter in the name of Jesus. I want us to intercede. Remember, as you are praying, as you are interceding for people, you are indirectly praying for yourself. You are indirectly, you're settling your own case before the Lord. I want us to pray for all our singles and say, Father, we ask that, that you will grant all our singles the grace to obey obey every instruction that you have given to them to the letter in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us in Deuteronomy 5.33, says that you shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God has commanded, co commanded you, that you may live and that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess. For some of our singles, the Lord has instructed them, do this, do that, don't do this. We know that one of the instructions is to, uh, to flee from all, from all evil, to flee from fornication, to flee from everything that defiles. I want us to begin to pray and to seek for our singles that the Lord will give them the grace huh, to obey every instruction that the Lord has given to them in the name of Jesus. Some of our singles, the Lord is telling them, come out of this relationship. No, don't go into this relationship. Go into this relationship. The Lord has been instructing them. I want us to pray. Now that we stand in the gap for all our singles, now you give them the grace, God, to obey every instructions that you've given to them in the name of Jesus. And and, and next, we are also praying that the Lord will burn every veil covering our singles from being seen by the flesh of the, their flesh and the bone of their bone. That the Lord will burn every 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 veil covering them with the fire of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray for them that we release all our singles from every tomb of forgetfulness in the name of Jesus. We release all our singles from every tomb of forgetfulness forgetfulness in the name of Jesus we untie them from what whatever has been has been holding them down we untie them oh God from wherever they've been tied down in the name of Jesus and we release them into their glorious marital destinies in the name of Jesus begin to pray for our singles that we untie them from wherever they have been tied down we release them from the tomb of forgetfulness in the name of Jesus we release them into their glorious Marital destiny, my zebra gazinta harabaka jishke, hereketa kerebaka zunta harabaka zunta. For as many as God has ordained to be married, is the desire of God for them to be married. My zebra gazibra gazinta harabaka zinta. Now that we untie all our singles, we release them into their glorious marital destinies in the name of Jesus. Oh, my zebra gazika takarabaka jishke, hekerebeka zinta harabaka. Even as we are interceding, I want us to declare and say, Father, we declare that this year there will be an influx of marriages in Nehemiah true prayer ministry in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the Lord has made us kings and priests unto our God. And as kings and priests, when we declare a thing, when we decree a thing, it is established. I want us to begin to declare that this year that there will be an influx of marriages in Nehemiah true prayer ministry. That as we are attending one, as we are hearing about one's, one, one's marriage, we'll be attending another, we'll be hearing about many more marriages this year 2021. In the name of 
Jesus. Father, we declare that there will be an influx of marriages in Nehemiah through prayer ministry. In the name of Jesus, we declare that each month, every month of this year, someone connected to this ministry will get married. People, people connected to this ministry will get married in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for divine arrangement. We thank you for divine positioning in the mighty name of Jesus. Next, we're going to be interceding for our expectant mothers. I want us to pray and say, Father, we commit all our expectant mothers into your hands. Uh, we declare that none shall miscarry in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us in Exodus 23, 26, it said, no one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. It says, I will fulfill the number of your days. I want us to begin to pray. Now that we commit all our expectant mothers into your hands, we declare that none shall miscarry in the name of Jesus. No one shall suffer miscarriage. Mazebregazin. We cover them in the blood of Jesus. Next prayer point. I want us to pray and say, Father, we cancel every negative report concerning any of the babies in the womb. We reverse every negative report of Down syndrome. We, re we reverse every negative report of autism, of neuralgia, of hydrocephaly, whatever those conditions are. I want us to begin to play pray and declare that we declare that all our babies are healthy in the name of Jesus all the babies in the womb because the Lord said in the book of Genesis that when God created all things he saw that they were good when he created all things he saw that they were good so the Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord so God does not create anything that is not normal I want us to begin to declare that all our babies are healthy that everything concerning them is perfected instantly in the name of Jesus, we declare a revival and an instant resurrection for every every baby in the womb that is not moving. In the name of Jesus, the Lord said, whose report would you believe? Ah, this day we choose to believe the report of the Lord. We cancel every negative re re report in the name of Jesus. We declare our babies are healthy. In the name of Jesus, none of them will suffer from Down syndrome. None of them will suffer from any form of hydrocephalus. In the name of Jesus, next we're also going to be interceding for our mothers of nation. I want us to declare in the name of Jesus that we declare concerning all our mothers of nation, we declare that they will all carry their baby in the name of Jesus because the word of God says none shall be barren in the land. Father, we declare that the fruits of their womb is blessed in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare that their children surround them, them like olive plants uh, round about their tables in the name of Jesus. The Lord says he would arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her as come it is now the bible says now behold now today is the day of salvation so we declare instantly fruitfulness for all our mothers of nation we declare that they will all carry their children even in this year 2021 because it says he's the god of all flesh is there anything too hard for him to do father we thank you we thank you we thank you we give you praise next i want us to begin to pray that every mother of nation oh that this year they will carry their samuels that every mother of nation oh that this year that indeed in neymar true prayer ministry that the Lord Majebra Gazinta Harabaka Zunta Ha. Oh, they can take it. We will record groundbreaking um, testimonies in the name of Jesus concerning babies. Majebra Gazinta Ha concerning marriages in the name of Jesus. I want us to begin to give God thanks for answered prayers. Oh, Father, we give you praise. We thank you for our singles and marriages here. We thank you because babies, oh God, influx of babies, oh God, will surround our okay, tables yeah, yeah. this year in Jesus' name. Amen.
Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. In this section, we are going to be praying for our children. We are going to be praying for our I want us to begin to appreciate the name of the Lord as we pray for our children and their destinies. And I want us to begin to appreciate and thank the Lord first from the book of Psalm 127 from verse 3 to 5. From the, uh, the Passion Translation says, children are, the God, are God's love gift. They are heaven's generous reward. They are born to a young, children born to a young couple will one day rise rise to protect and provide for their children i want you to begin to say lord i thank you i thank you for entrusting all the, ch the children that you have entrusted into my hand i want you to begin to say lord i thank you begin to worship the name of the lord begin to thank the lord for being for entrusting the gift of love this generous gift of reward let us begin to appreciate the lord of us lord i thank you lord i thank you thank you oh lord for the children you have given unto me thank you for making me a mother thank you for making me a parent begin to worship the name of the lord because he also begin to say lord i thank you because our children are your heritage and they are your great reward begin to worship the name of the lord begin to appreciate the lord of hosts lord i thank you thank you for making me a parent thank you for the children you have given me begin to mention the name of your children one by one and begin to appreciate the lord for them thank god for who they are thank you for the stages they thank the lord for the stages they are in their lives thank you for all who they are in christ thank you for the identity that god has given to them begin to worship the lord of hosts lord i thank you for the children you have given for me because they are for signs and for wonders because they are your heritage Lord, I thank you for the opportunity, the privilege you have given to me to be a mother, to be a parent, to be a father, to be a parent. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for the children you have given unto me because they are your heritage, because they are your great reward. Father, Lord, we exalt you. Father, we thank you for our children. We thank you for because they are the gift of love from you. They are the gift of love from you. Father, thank you for entrusting, oh Lord, these children into my hands. Ah, begin to appreciate the Lord because he entrusted them into your hands. They are the gift of God. They are the heritage of the All Almighty. But he entrusted those children into your hands. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Ah, for those two, for the children he has given unto you. Some of them are biological children. Some of them are children are in your circle of influence. They are, they are adopted you as parents. Some of them, oh Lord, are children that you have brought under your wings. Begin to say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, O oh Lord Almighty, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are going to pray again. We are going to say, Lord Almighty. <clears throat> if you go to the book of Job, Job has the, has the added habit of concentrating his children. He likes to concentrate his children after, a, after they've already, they are after different events that they've gone through. If you read Job 1 for, for, from verse 4 to 5, he says, Son, his sons used to take turns hosting parties in their homes. This is a, a message translation. Always inviting their three sisters to join them in their merrymaking. When the parties were over, Job would get up early in the morning and sacrifice a burnt offering for, his, for each of his children, thinking maybe one of them has sinned by defiling God inwardly. Job made it a habit of his God, Job made a habit of this sacrificial atonement just in case they sin. This night, I want us to begin to approach the, the throne of grace and pray, everlasting Father. 
as we as approach your throne this night, this midnight hour, we plead mercy over our children. Let the prayer of our repentance today and atonement ascend to your throne of, of mercy for each of our children. Begin to pray, oh Lord, and plead for mercy for each of our children. Begin to mention their name one by one, as just like the way Job did, and consecrated them, and asked for atonement for them. Begin to ask and say, Lord Almighty, I pray, oh Lord, forgive my children. I stand in the in gap today. I say, Lord, I ask, I ask, oh Lord, I pray the prayer of repentance for them. Mention your children one by one. Mention their name one by one. They must have seen error, a sin of omission. See error, error they have committed. It was sin against the Lord Almighty. Begin to ask for mercy for each of these children. Begin to say, Lord, forgive my children. Forgive Allah to wash Forgive Allah Jipo. Lord, forgive Allah Lord, forgive our children. Every children born in, every children connected to Nehemiah Troop Ministry, begin to pray for them. That Lord Almighty, everlasting Father, we stand before your throne today in this midnight hour. And we plead mercy over our children. We plead mercy over our children. Let your blood atone for their sin. In the name of Jesus, we are going to pray again with, the, with that verse of Job 1 to 4 to 5 in mind. You say, Lord Almighty, I consecrate my children, my biological children, and every child in the, my circle of interest into your own out, into your out, into your into your outstretched um, Lord, keep them from presumptuous sin and all of and every and, and the overpowering influence of this world. Let us pray in the name of Jesus, Lord Almighty. I consecrate my children, I consecrate my children, my biological children, every biological child that you have given unto me, every child in my circle of friends i consecrate them into your hands lord almighty i put them oh lord into your own into your everlasting harm lord keep them from sin keep them from the power the over, overpowering influence of this world let it have no dominion over them in the name of jesus let us pray again lord almighty let's take this prayer again lord almighty i consecrate my children into your mighty hand. I consecrate my children into your precious hand. Let them not, let the, the, what, this word, this overpowering word of evil, let it not overpower them. The influence of this word, let it not overpower them. In the name of Jesus, amen. Right now, we are going to pray another prayer. We are going to be using Psalm 91, particularly the, 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 the Passion Translation, to pray for our children. And we are going to start this like this. Lord of angels army, Lord of hosts, great and mighty God, be the refuge of my children. I want you to mention those children one by one. Mention the name of your children one by one. Say, Lord Almighty, be the refuge for my children. Let your huge outstretch and protect them. Protect them from every terror. Protect them from every danger. Protect them from every evil influence that may be around them. In the name of Jesus. Ah, because the Bible said in Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 91, he said he will give his angel charge over them. That the angel of the Lord will surround our children. He will encamp around them. He will defend and be their refuge. In the name of Jesus, Lord Almighty, we pray that you protect our children. We pray that our children, oh Lord, that we take refuge in you. They take refuge in you. In the name that is above your name. Lord, let a huge outstretched arm be their protection. Let it protect them from evil. Let it protect them from danger. In the name of Jesus, we are going to pray again. Lord Almighty, righteous and holy one, keep my children from every form of illness or diseases, named or not named, or whatever disease that is yet to be discovered. They discover COVID-19. They discover to be 20. There may be many that may be discovered, but this is none of our business tonight. We are going to keep shield our children and say, Lord Almighty, keep every of my child from every form of disease, ah, from every form of sickness. Because you said in your word, as you declared in your word, that by the stripes of Jesus, all are made whole. Ah, you Lord Almighty, whatever child, oh Lord, is, is under our the, 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 under the sound of our voice tonight, that may be healed for one illness or the other. We ask for the power of God to touch them right now. We ask for a total healing in the name of Jesus. The strife of Jesus, 
Oh Lord, make all whole. In the name of Jesus, we say our children will live in sound health. They will live in good health all the days of their life. In the name of Jesus. Sickness, we say we have no hold over our children. We have no hold over our children. Mention the name of your child one by one and begin to say in the name of Jesus, sickness have no hold over them because by the stripe of Jesus, all those sickness, oh Lord, they have been paid for. The price has been paid. So we say in the name of Jesus, we declare our children are free in the name of Jesus. If you read in particular, I want us to focus on Psalm 91, particularly the verse 16, 14 to 16 he said if you hold on to me for dear life says the lord i will get you out of trouble i will give you the best care if you if you i will give you the best of care if you only get to know and trust me call me and i will answer be at your side in bad time i'll rescue you then throw you a party i will give you a long life give you a long drink of salvation we are going to pray in the name of jesus lord we declare and we decree ah that our children our children will be delivered from every form of trouble every form of self-inflicted or generational trouble they are delivered in the name of jesus our children will hold on to you they will hold on to you they will call upon your name they will hold on to you in the name of jesus our children will be delivered from every trouble they will be delivered from every evil they will be delivered from every time trouble every generational trouble our children are delivered in the name of jesus every trouble that lock around in the city where they live in that they around them they are delivered in the name of jesus the hand of the lord is surrounding them they will love the lord our children will love the lord in the name of jesus again we are going to pray lord of lord and friends of sinner open the eyes of my children to the things of god and give them the grace the passion and deep yearning to follow the lord that our children just as it said in the book of that verse psalm 91 that our children will hold on if they hold on to they hold on to the lord with their dear life that the lord will keep them and get them out of trouble help our children lord to be passionate for the things of god let them yearn after you lord give them create a fresh task for righteousness in our children in the name of this above every other name lord of lord and friend of sinners open the eyes of my children open the eyes of my children mention the name of your child children one by one mention the name of your children one by one ah if you are not mad if you don't have any Child yet begin to prophesy into the future of your children that lord almighty that the eyes of my children will be open to the things of god lord give them the grace oh lord and the passion and the deep yearning are to follow after righteousness to follow after the lord in the name of jesus amen next we are going to be praying particularly we are going to be praying using second samuel 23 from verse 8 to 12. That book of that second Samuel was talking about the mighty men that were with David. These are men like Eliezer, men like men like Shama. They are men who stood. <laughs> they stood and fought. They stood in righteousness. They did not allow anything to defy the Lord or the, the word of God. They did not allow anything to defy the army of Israel. They are people who stand, <laughs> who stand and they are stationed in the middle to defend to defend the gospel the word of to defend the things of god we are going to pray for our children today lord of heaven lord almighty make my children the battle ram and a a weapon of war in your hand just like the mighty men that were that accomplished the king david let my children stand as a vessel to be used continually in this end time to fulfill your gospel in the name of Jesus, Lord Almighty, use my children, oh Lord. Let them use them just like you use Eliasa, just like you use Shama, those, those mighty men that were with King David are ah, to defy whatever is not of God and to defend the God, the kingdom of God. Lord, let my children be used in this time to defend the gospel of God, to defend the divine mandate of heaven, to declare the divine mandate of heaven. They will stand and to stand 
stand in the place of authority in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord Almighty. In the name that is above every other name, let my children, oh Lord, be used as a weapon of war. Let them be used as a battle ram in your hands in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we exalt you. Thank you, everlasting Father. We are going to pray again. Lord Almighty, ah, let my children fulfill their divine destiny in the name of Jesus. They will not run another man's race. I hide the destiny and the future of my children under your able hands, oh Lord. Father, Lord, Silence every voice that wants to rise against or revolt against them in the name that is above every other name. Lord, I pray, Lord, create a seat for my children in the realms of greatness. Lord, when you seek someone who is righteous, when you seek someone who is holy, when you are seeking someone who is diligent, wealthy, influencer, solution bearer, record breaker, breaker to solve global issues, let it be my seed, let it be my children. In the name of Jesus, let us pray, Lord. Lord Almighty, let my children fulfill their divine destiny. Where I hide their destiny under the canopy of the Lord Almighty. I hide my children's future under your hebu hands, O Lord. In the name that is above every other name, every voice that wants to rise up against them or revolt against them, Father Lord, we silence those voices. In the name of Jesus, Father, create a seat for my children. In the realm of Yes, oh Lord, when you seek someone, oh Lord, to serve you, when you're seeking for a holy seed, when you're seeking for somebody holy, when you're seeking for a solution bearer, when you're seeking for an influencer, somebody wealthy to carry your wealth, oh Lord, let it be my seed in the name that is above every other name. Let it be my seed, Lord, in the name that is above every other name. Finally, we are going to pray, Lord, creator of the universe, mm. create a seed for my children. We are going to pray again, create a seed for my children. A seat of greatness in the name that is above every other name. Let us begin to worship the name of the Lord. Let us begin to thank the Lord of hosts. Let us begin to Oh, we worship you. Our God is a great God. He is a great king. Above all other God, hey, our God is a great God, is a great King. Above all other gods, Sheba Zobragada, our God is a great God, is a great King. Above all other gods. <laughs> the lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. Mighty warrior, so great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Yes, Ababa Bahala Gada Bele Dahala Duse Dele. Mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Oh, Jehovah is your name. At official grow, Jehovah is your name. Yeah, the man of war, mighty warrior, you are so great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as ageless as you are, you can never ever fail. You are by faithful, ancient of days, as old as you are, as ancient as you are, you can never fail. Glory be to God in the highest, amen. Glory be to God in the highest, amen. For his mercies and your earth forever, amen. For his mercies and your forever. Amen. 
Oh, Father, we bless you. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. He's the one who has kept us as the apple of his eyes. He's the one that has preserved us on every side. Despite the Balaam's running here and there, building altars, he has made their powers null and void. The Bible said in Job 5, 12, he said they frustrate the devices of the crafty so that their hand cannot perform their wicked enterprise. The Bible makes us to understand that it makes the tokens of the divine as useless. The Bible said that in makes their wisdom madness. Come on, give him praise because it's worthy. Come on, adore him because it's worthy. That is not like this God. He's our defender. The Bible calls him the man of war. That is his name. He has never lost a battle before. The captain of the angelic army, the captain of the armies of Israel, the captain of salvation, the general superintendent of the old galaxies. Why do you worship him? Hey, yes, he's the prime minister of all prime minister. He's the president over the universe. He's the great captain, the mighty man in battle, the man of of war. I ah, praise this ageless king, ancient of days. Huh? Worship his majesty, omnipotent God. He's so powerful. He's the omnipotent one. We give you praise, oh God, omniscient one. We give you praise, oh God, omnipresent God. We exalt your name, covenant keeping God, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the one who has prevailed. We praise you. We bow before you. We cast our crown before you. We lift your name on us. We say, Allah, where be your holy name? Hmm. Glory, glory to your holy name. Honor, adoration be to your holy name. We give you all the praise and glory. We exalt you because you're our defender. We bless you because you're our deliverer. We worship you because you're our helper. We gadele grege do goto da 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 da. Rebala da da ba ya ba 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 ba. Ravagalu bregadele bianda zebegede. Our helper, we bless you. O zebra gasu gotoli anda zebegadele. We give you all the praise and glory. Ah, daddy, we say good morning, sir. <laughs> you are worthy. Good morning sir ah, for the beginning of this day we say thank you jehovah thank you man of war thank you king of kings thank you our deliverer thank you our lover thank you our helper thank you our defender defender of the defenseless helper of the helpless hmm. friend of loners our comforter our counselor our helper the great physician we bless your name thank you god in jesus mighty name amen I want to welcome you to the last session of our midnight watch in Neymar to prayer ministry. It's our last session for, for, for this night or this morning, should I say. This is about the thought and the last session for today. And I want you to give thanks to God because you have the privilege to pray. The Bible said that the God who answers prayer, to him shall all flesh come. We have come. And the reason why we have come is because he answers prayer. He's the only one that has the power to answer prayer. He can do and undo. He's the impossibility specialist. He can make impossibility possible. He's the appointment keeper. Every Friday when we come, he's here. He's already waiting for us. Why don't you give him praise? Why don't you adore him? Say, Father, I thank you. The one that can make impossibility possible. The one that turns, overturns the, the mountains by their roots. You turn challenges to a morsel of bread. We give you praise, oh God. We exalt your name. We bless your name. You are the one that turned the, 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 the wisdom of the sorcerers and the witches to foolishness. We give you praise, O Lord, Father, because you make the tokens of the divine as lies. We exalt your name. <laughs> we bless you. Take all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. In this session, we are going to be praying against wicked sorcery. We are going to be doing every work of craft. Let me tell you something. <laughs> the enemy knows how to carry sacrifice. <laughs> but you know that we have the sacrifice of praise. <laughs> La ga, lege, lege. We have the sacrifice of praise. We have the sacrifice of prayer. We have the sacrifice of prayer. Our God is a God who answers by fire. Our God who answers by thunder. Remember that the Bible said in Ezekiel chapter 21. Mm. Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 21. The king of Babylon stand at the parting of the road, at the fork of the, the, fork of the two roads, that is the, the, the T-junction. To use divination, he shakes the arrow, he consults the images, he looks at the liver. Do you know that this is a kind of uh, sorcery and witchcraft where they would take an animal and they will begin to read divination and enchantment. They would do divination and enchantment by reading the liver of the animal, whether they are going to win a battle or not, whether they are going to meet someone at home or not, whether they can kill somebody or not. If you think I am exaggerating or I'm reading meaning into scriptures, I want you to go and get the book by Anna Mendes, High Level Warfare and Regions of Captivity. You will see so many examples there, especially from real life and from scriptures. So we are not making these things up. 
And so tonight, I want us to pray. Because the midnight is a crucial time, a pivotal time to undo this kind of divination, sorcery, and enchantment. Another one, we like to quote from Numbers 23, 23. But many of us don't read the Bible. We don't have the context of what happened in Numbers chapter 23. In Numbers 23, the evil sorcerer, Balaam, that Balaam, the king of the, uh, the, the, the king of the Moabites had hired, he hired him so that he can build altars. In one day, he built 21 evil altars. And they will call you to come and pray. You can't pray. Do you know that the night vigil that we're having now, witches are not sleeping. The hour between 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. is called the witching hour. Because that is when everything is, is asleep. But the spirit world, the spirit realm is abuzz with activity. <laughs> Go and do your search. It's called the witching hour. The witches are awake, but the, the intercessors are asleep. They are drooling. They are sleeping. The Bible said that they are dumb dogs. Love it to sleep. Love it to slumber. They cannot bark. You must not be a slumbering dog. You must be a lion. Because our master is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And he has called us as watchmen over souls, over our family, over our children. We have prayed for our children today. We have interceded for singles. We have interceded for mothers, expectant mothers and waiting mothers. And we know that testimonies are abounding shortly in the name of Jesus. Time for us to pray against the wicked sorcery. Any hired sorcerer or evil altar raised on your behalf or that of your children. <laughs> I said like Balaam, they will be shattered to pieces today in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see that despite the fact that this evil sorcerer built 21 evil altars in one day, <laughs> he could not cast spell on Israel. In Numbers chapter 23 verse 22, the Bible said there shall be no divination against Israel, no enchantment against Jacob. The one who makes the diviners mad. He does not slumber. He never sleeps. That is what the Bible tells us in number uh, in Psalm 121. He does not sleep. He does not slumber. Numbers chapter 23. Let's quickly look at it. Numbers chapter 23 and then we will pray. I want us to pray from the context of scripture. I need you to have understanding now. And put superstition aside. This is the scripture. This is the scripture. And if it did not happen, the Bible won't tell us in Ezekiel 21, 21 that the king of Babylon was performing divination at a T junction. It is not just in African magic. It is not just in the in the sci-fi movie. It happens. It happens. This is how they operate in the underworld, the habitations of cruelty. And you are now been given power and authority over the underworld. You have been given power and authority over the habitations of cruelty. Numbers twenty three verse one. I will read a few verses, verse 1 and 2, verse 14, then verse 29 to 30, just for us to have a quick view of what's going on here. The Bible said, then Balaam said to Balak, build seven altars for me here and prepare for me here seven bulls and seven rams. <laughs> they will tell the children of God to give offering. They will be complaining. See, but when the traditionalist or the psychics or the fortune teller tells you to bring something to put on the altar so that the oracle will speak, the people are willing to throw the money there. Sacrifice, see, seven bulls and seven rams on seven altars. And he built it the first time. And Balak did just as Balaam had spoken. And Balak and Balaam offered a bull and a ram on each altar. So he brought him to the field of Zophim, to the top of Pisgah, and built seven altars, and offered a bull and a ram on each altar. That's the second one. Then Balaam said to Balak, build for me here seven altars, and prepare for me here seven bulls and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had said, and offered a bull and a ram on every altar. Can you imagine? In verse 1, in verse 14, in verse 29, he built seven altars three times. In 24 hours, 21 altars. Do you know that as we speak, the children of disobedience are still building those altars in their covers that are still summoning images. If you are in doubt, go and read 1 Kings. Go and read 1 Kings chapter 6. There was an altar where Jeroboam was performing if we get sorcery. And the young prophet came there to address it. The young prophet came there in 1 Kings chapter 13. I want you to understand that the evil perpetrators of sorcery and witchcraft, they are still performing those altars. They are still raising those altars. And that's why we also are raising our altar. The altar of prayer. The altar of praise. The altar of spiritual warfare 
in the name of Jesus, the altar of the blood. And that's why we are praying from that premise tonight because I don't want anybody to see the prayer point and say, what kind of thing is this? This is scripture now. And we are waging war for our destiny. The Bible makes us to understand that eventually this sorcerer, Balaam, did not survive the attack launched against Israel. In Joshua chapter 13, verse 22, the Bible records that the children of Israel killed Balaam with the sword. They killed with the sword. Balaam, the son of Beor, the soothsayer, among those who were killed. They were among, it was among those who were killed. If there's any unrepentant adversary in your father's house, in your mother's house, in your community, or in your nation, if there's any witch who has looked at you and said she will not marry, <laughs> the Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. Let us call on the King Jehovah, the mighty man in battle, the man of God, the one that said he will wet his glittering sword and he will make his arrows drunk with blood. I don't care how ancient that also wickedness is, they are swallowed up today in victory because the Lord made sure that that Balaam did not go scot free. I declare, any evil perpetrator harassing your destiny will not go scot free. Except they turn to Jesus, except they become part of our company, except they accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, provided they are outside of the camp and re refuse to repent. The Bible said the Lord is wicked. I mean, the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. He said with the wicked, he will show himself to be wicked. He said with the shrewd, he will show himself to be shrewd. <laughs> he said with the merciful, he will show himself to be merciful, provided they turn to the Lord. But if they do not turn, mm, may they receive their righteous rewards. Let's begin to give thanks to God. Come on, give him thanks. Give him praise. Say, Father, I thank you for the daily eye-opening encounters on this altar of prayer. This is an altar that is not void of revelation. Every time we are put before him, he gives us something, something powerful. I want you to thank him for teaching our hands to our fingers to fight and our arms to war according to Psalm 144 verse 1. Say, Father, I thank you. The same is repeated in Psalm 18. He said, you teach my fingers to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my hand, is bent by my hand. Difficult situations become bendable. Difficult situations become malleable, pliable because he is the one strengthening our hand. He is the one strengthening our hand for warfare. Father, we thank you for daily opening our eyes to different encounters on this altar. Thank you for showing us secrets on this altar. Thank you for teaching our hands to war. Thank you for teaching our fingers to fight. I am grateful for the knowledge that delivers the righteous. The Bible said in Proverbs 11, verse 9, the beeper. He said, for through knowledge, the righteous will be delivered. Father, I thank you for deliverance. I give you praise for deliverance. I am grateful for deliverance. I am thankful for the deliverance that happened on the cross of Calvary. You know that sozo, soteria, means deliverance. Thank you for the power on the cross, the power of deliverance. Thank you for disappointing the devices of the crafty so that their hand cannot perform their wicked enterprise towards me, towards my husband, towards my children. I am grateful for life. I am grateful for preservation. I am grateful for good health. Hmm. I've said this testimony a few times. There was a time during our 30 day fast that we just concluded in December. There was hail falling in Georgia and the storm was moving and shaking the house. And as I was praying, the Lord, uh, you know, he, he, there, there are just sometimes as, 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 as somebody who is still living in the flesh, you will just begin to hear the storm, but the, the wind howling and the storm moving. And I was praying, I was praying concerning the storm and the Lord said, be at peace. The Lord said, be at peace. There are many times when the storm passes and I just lift your house out of the way. And when the storm passes, I put you back right down and you are sleeping in your bed and you are not aware. You are perfectly sleeping. I want you to know that you can go to rest. You can go to rest because this God said is the one that keeps us. The one that keeps us in never slumbers nor sleep. The Bible says, said the Lord watches over city, the city, the watchmen are awake but in vain. I said the Lord build the house, the laborers build in vain. I want you, the Bible said the laborers labor in vain. I want you to give thanks to God one more time for keeping us even when we are sleeping, when we are fast asleep, when not, we are not aware of the arrows exchanging, the bullets exchanging in the spirit. Do you know some people receive the bullets in their sleep and they do not make it out alive? Do you know some people receive arrow in their sleep and then it turns to something else that they begin to carry from one door to the other? Do you know some people receive bullets in their sleep and it becomes cancer and tumor? I want you to give praise to God that you have not received 
received the bullet of the wicked. You have not received the arrow of the wicked. Your children have not received the bullet of the wicked. The enemy have not been able to touch you. You are untouchable. You are unkillable, unmolestable. Because why? The Lord preserve us. Come on, give him praise. Thank him for preservation. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Say, I thank you for good health. I thank you for mercy. I thank you for this covenant. I am grateful. Take all the praise and glory. Thank you for the finished work on the cross of Calvary. The Bible said, therefore, it is there for a reason. He said, therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Say, Lord, I thank you for the finished work on the cross of Calvary. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you for setting me free from the kingdom of darkness. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you for translating me from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of your marvelous light. I am grateful. I am grateful for the victory I have over every force of the, of, of the wicked. Don't you know? The Bible said in Luke 10, 19, he has given us power and authority over the works of darkness, over every power of darkness, and nothing shall by enemies hurt us. Why don't you give him praise? Why don't you give him praise? Say, Father, I thank you for the finished work on the cross of Calvary. Thank you for setting me free. 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 The Bible said, therefore, the son, if the son make you free, you are free indeed. The Bible said that we know the truth and the truth will make you free. Thank you for this liberty. Thank you for this freedom. Take all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. You know the Bible said that a curse, costless, shall not alight. A curse, costless, shall not alight. I want you to begin to confess every sin right now. Confess any sin that has to do with idolatry or witchcraft. Many of us may not have practiced witchcraft in person. And some have. But our ancestors were steeped in witchcraft. Our founding fathers steeped in witchcraft. Our employers steeped in witchcraft. Knowingly or unknowingly, some of us are involved in these things. Some of us, our parents will call us, let me help you to pray. You don't ask questions where they are going to pray. Whether it's on the altar of witches or wizards. Whether it's on the altar of marine spirits. Whether it's on the altar of psychics or native doctors. Whether it's on the altar of Lemomu or Imamu. You don't know where they are taking your name to. But they just say, hey, they want to do something for you. They want to help you. And then they give you, send money home. And they are taking your name to evil altar. I want you to confess right now. Maybe they even dedicated you to Shongo. Maybe they dedicated you to Odibimbe. Maybe they dedicated you to Oya. Maybe it's even reflective in the name you bear. Maybe your first name is Ogun. Maybe your first name is Oshu. Maybe your last name is Shongo. Why don't you confess and renounce any affiliation to all those household altars right now? Whether you know it or you don't. <coughs> Some people are bearing hardy gold. But you see, if they tell you the secret behind that gold, you wonder. Because they are dedicated to the God of gold. They are dedicated to mammon. I want you to pray and say, Lord, I renounce and I confess every affiliation to evil altars, household covenants, household altars, witchcraft altars. I ask for mercy for any erroneous or intentional connection to wicked sorcery or altars of demons. That, hey, demonic deities in the name of Jesus. Wherever my parents went on my behalf, wherever somebody went on my behalf, wherever my name was taken to, I withdraw my name from there. I withdraw my children's name from there. I withdraw my husband's name from there. In the name of Jesus, any evil altar, any covenant made by my ancestral past to God with demonic deities, I renounce such altars in Jesus' name. I renounce them. I plead the blood of Jesus for a total release from evil altars, evil dedication during my birth or my marriage. Do you know that when you get married, you are exchanging covenants. The covenant of your household with the covenant, he said, For this reason, shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave to his, his wife, and the two of them shall be one flesh. And what whoever the Lord has made one, let no one make to let no one divide. Is that not what the scripture says? Do you know that the kingdom of that they are they are aware of this ordinance and this precept and they enforce it every time you see two people come together, they are bringing covenant from houses. You see, the covenant of Abraham is it's ironclad, he passes through his generational, he passes through Abraham as a and Jacob. Didn't God say in Exodus 20? He said he will visit the iniquity of the father and the children to the third and fourth generation. Especially when it has to do with bloody covenant. When his bloody covenant is 10 generation that they will be estranged from the Lord. Imagine how the enemy takes advantage. Each generation is an approximately between 80 to 100 years. Go and check it very well. He said by reason of strength, 80 years. And sometimes people live up to 120 years. So you will see that the average of uh, a generation is from 80 to 120 years. Imagine, 3, 4, generation. That's over 400 years. If you are imagining with me, uh, if you are looking at 10 generations, that's a thousand years or more. That's why the Bible said that they keep a covenant to a thousand. 
to those who love him. I want you to pray. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus for total release from any evil dedication, any evil altar during my birth, during my marriage, at my Christian, at the Christian of my children, I receive total and complete emancipation, freedom from every evil ancestral altar, from generational covenant. I renounce it today in Jesus' mighty name. I break free from every stronghold of that covenant by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, you will see in Judges chapter 6, verse 25. The Bible said it came to pass in that night, in the same night. This is that night. That is this. Tonight is that night for us. Some of you is already morning, but in the eastern time zone we are still in the midnight hour and so you can connect to this midnight hour he got the labor the bible said in the same night that the lord said to him take your father's young bull he was speaking to gideon by the way before he could fulfill destiny he had to break free from the ugly altars of his father's house he said take your father's young bull the second bull of seven years old tear down the altar of baal the altar of baal remember baal is the master, is the Lord, is the fake Lord, by the way. He said, take the altar of Baal, tear it down, cut it down, cut down the woody image that is beside it, that is the image of Asherah, the abominable idols of the Moabites and the Ammonites. Can you imagine in Israel, in the house of the Israelites, that is where they had this. If you go and read the book of Judges, you will see all kind of mess going on there. They were, they were, they, 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 the Levites that were supposed to be dedicated to God, they were actually the ones that were, they were used, like Micah in the book of Judges. He was an uh, uh, it was a, a priest to an evil altar, to an idolatrous altar. And the same thing is happening in the house of um, uh, Joash the Abizra, the father of Gideon. The Bible tells us here that the Lord instructed Gideon, go and cut down that altar. Go and break it down. I want us to do the same in the realm of the spirits. We may not have physical altar to break down like Gideon. He said, turn that altar to firewood. In the realm of the spirit, I want you to begin to declare, altar, catch fire. Evil altar, catch fire. Evil altar, catch fire. The evil altar of my father's house. The evil altar of my mother's house. The evil altar of the family I married into. Cut fire, cut fire, cut fire, cut fire. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, uh, build, break it down, turn it to wood. He said, break it down. He said, build an altar unto the Lord your God on top of the rock in the proper arrangement. Remember, but the proper arrangement is what God told jo uh, Moses to do, Joshua to do, Elijah to do. They bake the proper arrangement, they put the wood in order, and then they burn their offering. He said, take the second pool, offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of, of, of the image which you cut down. And so Gideon took 10 men from among the servants. We are more than 10 men here. He said he took 10 men from among his servants and did as the Lord has said to him. But because he feared his father's household and the men of the city too much, he did it. He did not do it by day. He did it by night. He did it by night. So we are here by night. We have come to bring that altar. I want you to pray that prayer one more time and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I renounce every evil altar of my father's house. I renounce household altars. I renounce household dedication. I renounce evil dedication. Every connection to erroneous altar, I break free from it. Every connection to uh, a erroneous altar, intentional connection to wicked sorcery, altars of demon, altars of sorcery, altar of witchcraft, altar of psychic, altar of horoscope. I break free from it in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. Hey, wherever I walk into the sorcery trap, the witchcraft trap, oh Lord, Father, uh, Daddy Lord, wherever I walk into it erroneously without knowing what it was in it, Father, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. I plead the blood of Jesus for a total release for my husband and children. I plead the blood of Jesus for my destiny. Every evil altar, a evil dedication, ah, like that, they barely get it during my birth, during my marriage. Eh? Everything I've come in contact with through marriage, oh Lord, have mercy. I receive total emancipation, complete freedom. From every ancestral altar, generational covenant, demonic altar, I break free from every strong altar, every stronghold of dark covenant by the blood of Jesus. Amen. I want you to pray. The Bible said in Colossians chapter 2, verse 14, He said, having wiped out all the handwriting of ordinances or requirement that was against us, which was contrary to us, and He has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross, having disarmed principalities and power, He made a public spectacle. He made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. You see, in the te in the Old Testament, whenever a king, for example, if the Roman Empire takes over, you know, the land of 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 of, of Israel, or if if Babylon takes over the land of Israel, what they would do is they would do they will make a public stake a public stake and they will put a, a, a you know a public announcement now that this land is now the territory of the romans the same thing with the imperialists when england takes over a place they become that place becomes a british colony the same thing with the new world when america was taken over by columbus and all the other people who came to canada and all the the new world they be, they declared it a colony of whatever government they are coming to the same way jesus christ took over remember adam was sent here as the regent of the earth as the ambassador 
as the prince to rule over the earthly realm. He was supposed to subdue and have dominion, but he missed it. He messed up. And then the usurper, the devil, took it over. And the Bible makes us to understand that he calls himself the prince of the power of the air. The prince of this age is told that title. That's why the Bible said in John 10, 10, that he came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ came to give us abundant life, including hegemony and dominion. Now in Colossians chapter 2, verse 14, the Bible makes us to understand in verse 15 that he had disarmed them. He said the handwriting of ordinances written against us, contrary to us, was taken out of the way, nailed to the cross as a public announcement. And Jesus Christ is saying, this one is now mine. This one belongs to me. This one belongs to me. He's disarmed principles and power. Whenever a, a conquering king defeats you know the the occupying king what they do is that they will tie up that that king they will mess them up they may disarm them they can cut their hands off they can cut their leg off they can cut their head off they can hang them on the stake they can drag them through the town they can make a public spectacle of the that is what he's saying here he makes a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in his the bible said in Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 7 he said that he would descended into hell is the one that ascended he said he led captivity captive jesus christ led captivity captive all the principalities and power they became his prisoner he was not their own prisoner he went to hell to conquer i want you to celebrate this and i want you to plead the blood of jesus and say i plot out every handwriting of ordinances written against me from my generation's past I blot it out, I blot it out, I blot it out, I blot out every handwriting of ordinances contrary to me, contrary to my family, by the blood of Jesus. I denounce every evil covenant made on my behalf, made in my ancestral past. I renounce every blood tie to the strong man of witchcraft in my father's house, to the strong man of witchcraft in my mother's house, and my family I married into, the family I married into, every altar of witchcraft and sorcery I denounce, I cancel in the name of Jesus, because Jesus Christ make a public spectacle of them, they are have no effect over me. They have no effect over my husband. I said those contrary covenants have no effect over my children. In the name of Jesus, I want you to declare in the name of Jesus has no effect over me or my children. In the name of Jesus, you are going to declare. The Bible said, have respect unto the covenant for the dark places of the earth are filled with haunts of cruelty. The dark places of the earth, they are filled with the habitations of cruelty. I want you to declare right now, I release my good from the stronghold of the enemy. I bind the strong man of witchcraft and sorcery. I render all evil habitation desolate in Jesus mighty name. I dismantle evil altar. All evil altar erected on my behalf from generation past, affecting my journey in life. I dismantle them right now. I take back my glory. I take back my virtue by Christ Jesus. Jesus, the Bible says he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. He said he has given us glory and virtue. I want you to pray. I take back my glory and virtue. I take back my effective force. I release my good from the stronghold of the enemy. I release my good. The Bible said in Matthew 12, 29, how can you go into the strong man? into the house of a strong man, the stronghold of the strong man, except to fall by the strong man, and then you will plunder his good. The Bible says, upon man's land, there shall be deliverance and holiness. Possess your possession, sir. I want you to declare, I release my possession. I release my goods from the stronghold of the strong man. I release my good. I bind the strong man of poverty, of, 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 of sickness, of affliction, of witchcraft. Mention whatever is afflicting you, of ungodly delay. I don't even want to hear it. I enforce the blood of Jesus over the covenant of the blood over every Eden covenant in my father's house. I render all evil habitations in my family desolate. I render all evil habitation in my household desolate. I dismantle every evil altar erected on my behalf, whether from generation past, whether presently, or whether in the future. In the name of Jesus, any evil altar operating against me, I shatter them to pieces. I take down my blessing. I take back my glory. I take back my virtue. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You are going to pray. I break every power of witchcraft operating secretly or openly against me. Every power of witchcraft operating openly and covertly against me in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, rain. Holy Ghost fire, rain. Rain, fire, rain, thunder, rain, and storm in the cup of my adversary today. Holy Ghost fire, expose every dark secret of my father's house. Holy Ghost fire, expose every dark secret of my mother's house and the family I married into. Disgrace them in the name of Jesus. I break every power of witchcraft operating openly and covertly against me in the name of Jesus. 
I cancel evil decrees. I undo wicked covenants in my ancestry by the powerful blood of Jesus. I renounce, I reverse all negative words. Every word curses released against me, I renounce them in the name of Jesus. The spell, the divination, the enchantment released against me or any member of my family, any word curses released against the work of my aunt, any word curses released against the work of my husband's house, any word curses, word curses released against my children. I said I renounce them by the precious blood of Jesus. I renounce and reverse negative words, evil decrees, ah, curses, divination, enchantment. Did you remember that Balaam built 21 altars in one day? 21, seven bulls, seven, seven goats is, is offering them on the same altar. Seven rams, pardon me, seven, seven bulls, seven, seven, three times in 24 hours in Numbers chapter 23 alone. Three times you sit in, in verse 1, verse 12, and verse 29. I want you to pray. I renounce all negative words. I reverse all curses. I reverse all spells. In the name of Jesus, I renounce them and I reverse them. In the name of Jesus, divination, enchantment, walking against me, released against me, or any member of my family. The Bible said they frustrate the devices of the crafty. The Bible said the enemy will come before us when we are flee before seven ways. The Bible said that there shall be no divination against Israel, no enchantment against Jacob. Put your name there. There shall be no divination against I, Omolareni. No enchantment against the Bankoli family. There shall be no divination against my husband. In the name of Jesus, or our three children, I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. I renounce all negative words, spells, enchantment, curses released against us. In the name of Jesus, released against the work of our hand. It will not stand. Released against our finances. Released against our marriage. It will not stand. Neither will it come to pass. According to Isaiah. You are going to pray and say, Lord, anoint me for a common breakthrough. Anoint me for a common breakthrough in my career, in my ministry, in my marriage. In my, you can put whatever you want there. You can put in my academics, in my business. Anoint me for a common breakthrough in destiny, in life. Oh, Lord, I break free. I break every chain or cords of darkness affecting my health, my finances, my marriage, my destiny. Teach my enemies a lesson they will never forget. Forget. Teach my enemies the lesson they will never forget. The Bible said in Deuteronomy chapter 32, I love God's words because it gives us credence. It gives validity to these things we are saying, these things we are praying. He said, now see, hmm. I, even I, I am he. There is no God beside me. I kill and I make a life. I wound and I heal. Nor is there any who can deliver from my hand. For I raise my hand to heaven. This is God swearing an oath right now. The oath of deliverance for you and I. He said, for I raise my hand towards heaven. This is, these are the words of Moses. These were the last songs that Moses sang before he went to be with God. The Bible says, for I raise my hands to heaven and say, as I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword, that means I will make my, my sword shine. Up, and my hands take hold of judgment. I will render vengeance to my enemy and repay those who hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood. You are going to pray and say, Father, tonight make your arrows drunk with blood. This they, they consume my enemies in sore displeasure. Let me tell you, our enemies are not humans, so our enemies are those you know in the realm of the spirit. The, 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 the principalities, the powers, the demons, they are afraid of us. And that is what we are enforcing. Whoever, whatever human agent they are using is irrelevant. What we want to do is that we are not trying to kill humans. We are trying to defeat. Just what God says here, we are defeating the adversary of our soul. Satan and his cohort. And I want you to pray this prayer with understanding. The Bible said, if my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies. I will repay those who hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood. My sword shall devour flesh with the blood of the slain and the captive from the heads of the leaders of the enemy. I want you to pray. Father, let your heads roll in the realm of the spirit. Let heads roll in the name of Jesus. Every ancestral enemy, every household wickedness, every demon of witchcraft, every demon of sorcery. Oh, Father, Lord, I pray. Teach my enemies a lesson they will never forget. Oh, Yabale Brekese, bring down the head of Herod. Bring down the heads of Pharaoh. Bring down the heads of Athaliah. In the name of Jesus, Elabrang show those toying with my destiny that they are playing with fire. Let them know they are contending with fire. Let them know that they are contending with fire. Let them know you are my defender. The Bible said he will defend us. The Bible said he will take vengeance. The Bible said he will sharpen his sword. The Bible said he will make his arrows drunk with blood. I want you to pray and say, Father, 
so those toying with my destiny that they are playing with fire rise up wet your glittering sword consume them in your sword displeasure that is what your word says consume my enemies in your sword displeasure in the name of Jesus let those who come near me my husband or children know that they are taught the apple of your eyes in the name of Jesus I want you to pray and say Lord answer me from the secret place of thunder rise up from the secret place of thunder the bible said in psalm 81 verse 7 he said you called in trouble and i delivered you i answered you in the secret place of thunder i tested you at the waters of beriba i want you to pray and say father answer me from the secret place of thunder shatter every stronghold holding down my glory and virtue shatter them shatter them shatter them shatter them every stronghold oh god send your mighty terrorist warrior angels send your no nonsense angels like the ones you employed in Exodus 12 29 the ones you use in Isaiah 37, 36, the one that slid under than 85,000 in one night, the one that you used to pass through. Ah, yes, Lord, with vengeance, the land of Egypt, oh God. Hey, la, 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 bra, da, da, da. Oh, Father, use it to extract my image. I don't know whether you understand it. Sometimes they use images, they will use your picture, sometimes they will they will slam the picture <laughs> and they will use it on, 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 on Facebook, social media. They will take the picture, the effigy, they made effigy. Go and read um, uh, Regions of Captivity by and then that she explains how they will use needles to poke somebody. They will make a door and they will call that door somebody's name. And the world kind of it's not just in Africa magic, is witchcraft is witchcraft, regardless of whether it's in Egypt or is in Nigeria, whether it's in Nigeria or is in Mexico, whether it's in Mexico or is in Canada, it does not matter. Witchcraft is witchcraft. The realm of the space is the realm of the spirit. It's the same precept, the same ordinance. They can use somebody just like we have emblems, just like we can use the bread to represent the body of Jesus. And we can use the cup to represent um, the, the, the cup to represent his blood. Just that like we have mantles. Just that like we have things that are symbolic in the kingdom. Representative of things that God wants us to. Just like the oil destroys yoke. So also in the realm of the spirit, those who go into the dark occult, they know what they are doing. I want you to pray with understanding. If you don't know how to pray, just pray in the Holy Ghost in case you are too afraid of this prayer. But I hope you are not afraid of it. But these are scriptures. These are uh, 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 prayer points given by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. I want you to pray and say, Lord, extract my effigy. Effigy is like maybe an, a, a, an image used to make. Sometimes when they want to separate marriage, they would take the image of a man that is like a doll of a man, a male doll and a female doll turn their back to one another, tie it together or, or poke it with knife or stab it. They, they, all kind of craft. Please go and read the book. I encourage you to read High Level Witch, uh, High Level Warfare and Regions of Captivity by Anna Mendes. That's a good one for you to go and see what I'm talking about. I want you to pray with understanding and say, Lord, extract my image, my effigy, my name, my glory, my shadow. Sometimes they capture people's shadow. Hey, like For every shadow that I've been captured, I say there's a release in Jesus' name. I see somebody, you have been trapped in a bottle. Ah, come out in the name of Jesus. That bottle break in the name of Jesus. That bottle break in the name of Jesus. Come out of that prison in the name of Jesus. All the body parts that have been taken. Some people's body parts are taken and they are put in coffins. Some people's body parts are taken and they are put in all kinds of things. Some people's womb have been locked in cages, in coffins, in boxes. I want you to pray. Whatever is being used in the spirit realm to represent me. Anything used in the spirit realm to represent me let it cut fire let it turn to ashes in the name of jesus just like you did oh lord father in your word oh god oh when the young prophet cried against the altar oh and he became ashes oh god oh la braga in first Kings chapter 13 the bible said that the lord gave him a sign and he spoke against the altar and the altar split apart and it turned to ashes i want you to declare in the name of jesus according to your word in first kings chapter 13 verse 6 let the altar shatter to pieces let the altar scatter to ashes in the name of jesus according to your word in first kings chapter 13 verse 3 to 5 oh father let the altar scatter in the name of jesus whatever altar evil altar used to hold my image used to trap my shadow used to tap my glory oh yeah god then they break again i want you to pray in the name of jesus my body parts my possession my professional certificate some people's certificate the real one is just a a, a, a a figment of imagination the 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 real one that you are looking at the paper one the document one is just empty document empty diploma 
That's why every time you take the diploma out, when you take the resume out, it doesn't do anything. The real one is in the realm of the spirit, trapped in a bottle. I want you to say in the name of Jesus, every glass jar syndrome, we break it by fire. Every evil altar, holding my glory, my virtue, my shadow, my body parts, all those of my ancestors. Sometimes our ancestors, they went into Freemasonry, Lodge, Rosicrucian, all those dark occult, and they gave their body parts. They dedicated and consecrated their hearts. They consecrated their livers, their kidneys, whatever part they gave up i don't care what it is because you know what the iniquity of the father is tried to the third to the fourth generation bloody covenant to 10 generation i want you to pray i renounce such evil covenant in jesus name i renounce such evil covenant those evil body parts consecrated to demons those body parts consecrated to idols in the name of jesus the one that has re re reacted and re resulted in heart problem the one resulting in kidney problem the one resulting in bloody diseases the one resulting all of in bone problem, the one re resulting in degenerative diseases, and the one resulting in bra brain damage. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I renounce them. Ah, Lord, I draw my possession out. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. When God is using what is not playing, the Bible said in Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17 and 18, He said, Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. The house of Jacob shall possess their possession. In the name of Jesus, I possess my possession. Oh, come on, flow with me in the spirit right now as we pray. Oh, Zabraga, Segete, Lady every of my professional possession my professional certificate marital certificates marriage certificate is very important there is no place you go and marry that they will not give you a physical certificate for marriage i want you to pray oh la bragasigate my marital certificate is assumed from the powers of darkness in the name of jesus my ministerial certificate is assumed financial papers in the name of jesus don't you know that when you want to get a mortgage you sign a paper when you want to get a loan from the back you sign a paper when you want to get a car notes for a car you sign a paper when you want to do any financial you know you want to even open a bank account you sign a paper those are the financial documents i want you to begin to assume it from the powers of that that i plead the blood of jesus i possess my possession ah yes the immigration paper i call you forth in jesus name every contractual document i call you forth from the habitations of cruelty whatever is used to represent me in the kingdom of darkness whether they are needles whether they are threads whether they are buttons I say in the name of Jesus, let them cut fire. However, the Lord reveals to you to pray. Pray. Magase bregesukoto, body parts that are being held down. Halnegesigete, shadows that are trapped, glories that are trapped, names that are trapped. Oh, nebregesukoto, images, effigies, dolls. Magete bregesigete, lianda, sebregesukoto, hexes, oh Lord, Father. Hey, my younger daddy, young confinement. Some people, they just draw a circle around them and they trap them there. I declare in the name of Jesus, everything that has been used to limit you. Ah, Father, we break those limits in Jesus name we break those limits those limitations I break the limitation in the name of Jesus I want you to declare I enter into my place of rich fulfillment this year this year 2021 I enter into the place of rich fulfillment my husband and children we enter into our destiny fulfillment in the name of Jesus I break every yoke of ungodly delay every yoke of ungodly delay repeated trends stagnation failure uh, poverty barrenness marital affliction I break it by the blood of Jesus I break it by the blood of Jesus from the secret place of thunder I receive deliverance today I receive deliverance I undo every work of craft, every work of wicked sorcery. The Bible said it frustrates the work of darkness. It frustrates the devices of the crafty. It frustrates their devices. That is what they use. They are using it to devise evil. The Bible said no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you is disgraced. I want you to declare in the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against me. Don't you know that they need their mouth to do divination and enchantment to cast spell? Is it not with the mouth that Balaam was trying to curse Israel and God did not permit him to curse? In fact, it was blessing Israel. So that Belak was angry and said, ah, I thought you are I had you now. And we did 21 sacrifices and you are blessing these people. He said, ah, whoever the Lord has been, I cannot curse. He was opening his mouth to curse them. Blessing was flowing out. I want you to declare in the name of Jesus, anywhere my name comes up in the kingdom of that test, so Lord Father, let their tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth in the name of Jesus. Let their tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of stagnation, every yoke of delay, every yoke of ungodly delay, every yoke of sickness, failure, poverty, barrenness, break today by the powerful blood of Jesus. You are going to pray. I bind every demon, every household demon, community idol that has stolen from me. Every community idol, every household idol. You see, just like God places take in families, he said, I'm the God of Abraham, your father. Is that not what you told uh, Isaac? 
He told Isaac, I'm the God of your father, Abraham. He told Jacob, I'm the God of your father, Abraham and Isaac. He told Jacob the, the, um, the, that I'm the God of Abraham and Isaac. He told all the children of Israel the same thing. He's always introducing, he introduced himself to Moses how? As a God of covenant. He's a God who keeps covenant. The devil is a cheap copy. He copies everything that God does. He copies every covenant. He copies, he's, 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 he's trying to perpetrate those covenants of witchcraft through our generations. I want you to rise up right now. I bind every household demon, community idols that are stolen from my family and my generations past. I decree that every collective of individual captivity is broken in Jesus' name. Every collective captivity in my father's house, in my mother's house is broken. I take back my effective force. I take back my effective force in the name of Jesus. I take back my effective force for excellence, for virtue, for glory. I attain greatness. I return greatness. I say I achieve greatness. Greatness is returned to me in Jesus' name. Name. Greatness is returned to me in Jesus' mighty name. I have solution for long-standing issue. I don't know what that long-standing issue is. You have prayed and prayed and prayed. You are wondering what is going on. You have waited and waited and waited. It's time for you to take delivery of destiny. I want you to declare I take back my effective force. I take back my staff of bread. I operate in excellence, glory, and virtue. I achieve greatness in Jesus' mighty name. Make that say break. They say, today I possess my possession. I want you to say from today, I operate with distinction. That is what you are called to. Jesus Christ died for us and on the cross of calvary he paid the full price the bible said he himself took our infirmity so you are not supposed to be sick you are not permitted to be sick if you are truly born again sickness should have no place in your life if you are truly born again poverty should not feature in your life because he said i will supply my needs according to your riches in glory, according to my riches in glory by christ jesus if he says so he cannot lie the bible says it's impossible for him to lie in fact the bible said jesus became poor so that we can be rich he said the devil comes to steal he said i've come to give you abundant life the devil is lying god cannot lie it is impossible for God to lie. I want you to claim the blessing of Revelation chapter 5, verse 12. The Bible said that one of the angels cried with a loud voice. He said, what is the lamb who was slain? To receive power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. Can I read it for you one more time? Jesus died, died. He said, what is the lamb? Is the lamb of God. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. He died so that you and I can possess power. Mm. So that you can have riches. He's not missing one when he says riches. Riches is different from blessings. Some people are rich, they don't have blessing. Some people are blessing, they don't have riches. But in Christ Jesus, you have both riches and blessing, like Abraham. God told Abraham, you know what? When he came out of Egypt, he was rich, but he was a crooked man. So you are wondering where Jacob got his crookedness from. It was Abraham. Abraham told the Egyptian that his, sister, his wife was his sister because he didn't want... <laughs> that means he's saying, Pharaoh, you can sleep with my wife, you know. It's okay. Just so that he can buttress his pocket. He can, he can, he can, pad his, he can, he can, he can put words of money in his pocket. And the Bible said he came out of Egypt. Egypt was where he came out from. With livestock, with silver and gold. Guess what? He also brought out Hagar. He brought out this complication that affected his family to this generation. Today, to this day, he was a crooked man when he went there. When he went to the house of Abimelech in Genesis chapter 19, he was still struggling with lies. He still told the same lie. He said, she's my sister. Whereas that was his wife. So he's saying again. And that time it was possible that Sarah was already pregnant with Isaac. Because remember that Jesus Christ and the two angels visited his house in Genesis 18. And he told Abimelech again. He is my, she's my sister. And God put a curse on that family. And he's like, oh, what have you done to us? Thank God he didn't touch Sarah. Thank God Abimelech didn't touch Sarah. Imagine the mess. That, <laughs> the child of promise will have been compromised. But let's move on to the matter of Anne. At Anne, he came out of Egypt. He came out of the house of Abimelech with riches, but he was not blessed. It was in Genesis 22, 28, 28, in Genesis chapter 22, in verse 20, that God said, now I know that you love me. God proved him. God tested Abraham. He said, now I know that you love me. And the blessing I will bless you, in multiplying I will multiply you. So there's a difference between riches and blessing. Some people are rich, they are not blessed. Some people are blessed. They have the righteousness, the blessing, the righteousness, the, the righteousness of faith. But they are poor. They are as poor as a church rat. I want you to pray and say, Father, 
from today i operate with distinction i operate with honor i operate with the magnificence of the lord jesus christ the true essence of my life is released in jesus name i have the power full potency to make work i reach my full potential in life and in ministry you can put anything there you can fill in the gap i reach my full potential in marriage i reach my full potential in destiny i reach my full potential in my profession i reach my full potential in my destiny i reach my full potential in business i reach my full potential in my calling i reach my full potential in my mandate come on fill in the gap the bible said what is the lamb that was saying to receive power i have power i have the ability to make wealth i am rich in the name of jesus i have wisdom i have strength i have honor Hard strength is different from power power is the ability to do science some people do science they are still sick <laughs> did you catch that some people have power to do something but they are sick some people are not sick but they don't have power to do miracles there's a difference you see strength is might strength gives you you cannot fail the, 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 the strength of moses did not fail but the bible also makes us to understand that it was able to perform signs it was able to do miracles the same thing with paul the same thing with peter i want you to claim this blessing today i claim the blessedness oh yes the blessed the blessedness of the riches of christ i claim it i receive power i receive riches i receive wisdom i receive strength i receive honor glory blessing activated in me in the name of jesus i speak speedy turn around for every situation that has defied solution in my life i speak speedy turn around i speak speedy turn around every situation in my life that defies solution in the past i command a sevenfold return i don't know whether it's barrenness the doctors have said all kind of thing they said it's low spam count they've said it's endometriosis they said it's inverted tube they've said there is a uh, uh, low um, uh, egg production they said that the ovary is dry they said all kind of things they said it's twisted they said they uh, cannot uh, conceive they said it's fibro they said it's a uh, polycystic fibro uh, uh, ovary, ovary syndrome whatever the matter may be is a name i want you to begin to reverse it right now long-standing it should be reversed in the name of jesus premature menopause be reversed in the name of jesus autism be reversed in the name of jesus i have strength i have power the bible said that this time we follow them that believe do you know you have the power to heal you have the power to raise the dead is already in you is residual hey that they break get together say come on right now i want you to say i speak spirit turn around for every situation that defies solution in the name of jesus i cannot be a failure i cannot be a failure i cannot be tied to the same spot i cannot go back to yesterday i cannot be limited i cannot be stagnated in the name of jesus i cannot be jobless come on claim your blessing i cannot die young i cannot be sick in the name of jesus i cannot be weak and tired i cannot be broke all the time jesus christ became so i can be rich he put down the glory so i can enter into his glory he went to hell so i will never go there he died young so i can live long come on claim your blessing i speak spirit turn around to every situation that has defied solution i command a sevenfold restoration for everything that the enemy has stolen from me mention them one by one whatever the enemy has stolen from you is it marital blessing mention it take your blessing is it academic excellence is it success is it increase is it blessing is it health is it strength is it children claim your your blessing right now hey, de, 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 de. say i claim my joy i claim my time i claim my strength in the name of jesus the bible says, upon my son, there shall be deliverance and holiness the house of jacob shall possess their possession i possess my health my promotion i possess my peace my marital peace come on claim it in the name of jesus i possess my academic achievement my fruitfulness my marital blessing my excellence my glory my honor my virtue i possess it my increase on every side i possess it i possess my power my potency hey my anointing i take it back my calling in life and ministry i possess it i possess my health hey, that lady, say, get the leander. She, ba, 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 ba. my glorious achievement i claim it in jesus mighty name amen i want you to declare because he said when the holy spirit has come upon you in acts one is you become witnesses the main reason for us to carry god's glory to be glory carriers is so that we can be madness for the kingdom is so that we can be attracted for him he said the mountain of the house of the lord isaiah 2 2 and micah 4 1 he said will be exalted above the mountain he shall be established upon the hills all nations shall flow into it he said that one man will hold on to the garment of a jew i said 10 men sorry we hold on to the garment of you and say let us follow you to the house of your god do you know what the bible said in matthew chapter 5 
verse 13 to 16. I'm paraphrasing now. He said, you are the salt of the earth. If you lose your flavor, how can you be salted again? How can you gain your flavor back? He said, you are the flavor. You are the joy of the earth. You are the light of the world. He said, the city set on the hill that cannot be hid. Nobody lights a lamp and puts it under a table or under a bushel. They put it on a display stand for all to see. He said, let your light so shine so that men will see your good work and glorify your father. I want you to pray. I say, I become an ambassador of greatness today. I become an ambassador of deliverance today to set people free. The Bible said how God anointed Jesus Christ with Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, healing not them that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. I want you to declare the Lord is with me and therefore I'm an ambassador of deliverance. The Bible calls us ambassadors of Christ. He calls us ministers of reconciliation. He calls us a peculiar people, a chosen generation. I want you to claim I am an ambassador of deliverance. I set people free from the shackles of witchcraft and I break every yoke of darkness in their life. From today, I pull others out of the oppression. I pull others out of fire. I pull others out of the dungeon. I call them out of the pit in the name of Jesus as a flaming fire. I'm empowered to release people from prison. I'm empowered to release people into their God-ordained destiny in the name of Jesus. Come on, declare it. I'm ordained. I am empowered. I'm anointed to release people into their God-ordained destiny in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's time for us to intercede for others. I want you to pray and say, I pray for all those under the bondage of witchcraft. Be set free. Especially those in your immediate and extended family. Come on, pray for them. I pray for all those under the bondage of witchcraft to be set free. In Jesus' name, I destroy every diabolical illness by the blood of Jesus. I shut every ungodly delay in marriage, career, destiny by fire. I mention, mention the name of the family. I'm online. I cannot mention name, but in the spirit, I can call them forth. Hey, God, they break the day. Mention the name of the family. That family member, mention that friend, that acquaintance, that co-worker that needs a breakthrough, that neighbor that needs a breakthrough, that sister that needs a breakthrough, that brother that needs a spouse pray for them. Anybody whose marriage is under fire, pray for them. Anybody whose career is shaking, pray for them. Ah, get the break. We shatter every, every, every yoke of ungodly delay in marriage, in career, in destiny. We shatter it by fire. We declare that these ones are set free from every lawful captivity. In the name of Jesus, every diabolical illness. I read against this one. We scatter it in Jesus' name. I put on the old armor of God. I plead the blood of Jesus against every witchcraft altar, every coven in my neighborhood, in my city, in my state. I put on the whole armor of God according to Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 to 17 or 18. And I declare, in the name of Jesus, I'm full of the power of God. I plead the blood of Jesus over my husband and my children. And I bring down every witchcraft altar, the covens of darkness. I scatter them. I release the angels of the Almighty God, the warrior angels against them. In the name of Jesus, a labra I set your habitations ablaze. I set your habitations ablaze. I set you ablaze. I invite the warrior angels with sword of fire to scatter your gathering in Jesus' name. Every gathering of witches and wizards, I scatter in the name of Jesus. Every covers of messes, lodges, rosicrucian, I scatter in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, of wizard, of warlock, of wicked sorcery, a labra all the chants, enchantment, oh, Lord, for that divinity curses, hexes, spells that have been released, oh God, upon my city, upon the air, upon the moon, upon the stars, oh God, I release, oh Lord, Father, my city from such hexes, oh Lord, Father, I ask that the angels of the Most High God will fight war, they will wage war on our behalf, I return to send that every retaliation arrow, any evil arrow, the Bible said in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7, it said the enemy will come before us, one way and flee before seven way, let them scatter, the Bible said, let God arise in Psalm 68 verse 1, and let his enemies be scattered, let those who hate him flee before him, as what melt before the fire and as chaff before the wind. Let them be scattered. Let the wicked be scattered. Let them be scattered. Oh, Father Lord, we declare no weapon formed against us, our husband or children. If you must say against my wife or children shall prosper, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I speak it to the lives and destiny of my children. You will not fall. You will not fail. You will not fall into the trap of witchcraft and sorcery. You will not be lured into sorcery by the mass media. In the name of Jesus, I say in the name of Jesus, you will not eat poison. I set a mark of decision over you today by fire. I plead the blood of Jesus over my children. You are a terror and a threat to the forces of darkness. Even when you are asleep, you are untouchable. 
You will eat poisonous things. It will not touch you. They will not harm you in the name of Jesus. You will not be a token on any water. You will not be used to settle evil scores. You will not be used to settle evil accounts. You will not be used in the name of Jesus. By the powers of that thing, I plead the blood of Jesus over my children. Oh, let's pray for our nation, America. You can mention your own nation. But in America, we just experienced a change of power, a transition to a new government yesterday. I want us to pray ah, for our nation, America. America, I hear you the word of the Lord. We declare to you, you will prosper. Peace will be within your walls. Prosperity within your borders. Your officers shall be peace. Your senators will be righteous. And according to Isaiah chapter 16, verse 17 to 18, in the name of Jesus, we decree that there will be no innocent blood shed in you. I said, let the wickedness of the wicked consume them in America. America, your splendor will be restored. Your glory will be regained. You will not be a laughing stock among the nation. You will regain your prominence in leadership. We cast down evil altar. We demolish stronghold of wickedness within you, America. United States of America, you are blessed. You are great. You will keep betting greatness. In the name of Jesus, may God be blessed. You can use this prayer for as many nations as you want. Let's begin to bring our prayer to a close, giving him praise, giving him praise, giving him praise. Has it not been a wonderful time? The time passed by so swiftly and we didn't know it because we are having a wonderful time in his presence. Father, what a privilege to come and to worship. What a privilege to bow down. We bow down, we lift your name on high. We thank you for the privilege to pray. Oh, Father, we thank you because you are the God who answers by fire. The one that answers us from the secret place of thunder. The one that answers by fire. We exalt your name. The Lord that answers by fire. Let him be my God, the Lord that answers by fire. Let him be my God, the Lord that answers by fire and thunder. Let him be my God, the Lord that answers by fire. Let him be my God. Let him be my God, yo. Let him be my God. Oh, let him be my God. Let him be my God. Oh, Father, we bless your name. Oh, Father, we declare that we love you. Oh, Father, we adore you. Thank you for all you have done. Be thou glorified. Thank you for answering prayer. Thank you for undoing every wicked sorcery, every power of darkness. Oh, Lord, we give you praise for demolishing evil altar. We demolish those ugly altars. We render them no void and of no effect. And we declare the full effect of Calvary over our life, where we enjoy wisdom, we enjoy glory, we enjoy blessing. We enjoy strength. We enjoy, Lord Father, power. We enjoy riches, oh God. Our Father, we enjoy Lord Father, even honor and all the things you have packaged for us in salvation. We give you praise, eternal rock of ages. We thank you, Lord Father, because as your people in this year, we are preserved and kept, oh God. Our Father, Lord, not only that, we'll be in the right place at the right time, doing the right things with the right people. In Jesus' mighty name, our spouses are blessed. Our children are blessed. Our family is blessed. Our parents are well taken care of, oh God, our extended family, oh Lord Father, feel loved, oh God. And Father, we pray that all our loved ones will come, oh Lord Father, to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We bless you, we worship you, because we remain your magnet, oh God. Our Father, the attractive ones to this generation, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' exalted name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us for this midnight watch. I hope you have been blessed. We have the recording on SoundCloud. Please grab the link when we share and share with as many people as you know will be blessed by it. Thank you one more time for joining us. Remember, on this altar we pray Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and also we observe the noon watches on Instagram, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and then we have the marriage war room on Wednesday night and please look out for other announcements about our ministry. The Lord is doing great and wonderful things this season and so without much ado, I want us to share the name out to benediction. Right now we have the Believers Foundation School ongoing. The registration actually closed at mid night. What that implies for you is that you cannot get into our classroom anymore or our WhatsApp group. But feel free, you can still dial in into we are using the Zoom, the same Zoom line at um, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you just want to sit and listen through the classes, that's fine. But our, our team will no longer be registering people because it takes a lot of work to get people on board. But if you still want to be part of the lesson, the lesson is available on SoundCloud, on YouTube and you can sit in the live class. God has been so faithful. He's taking us from glory to glory later today because it's already today, Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will continue with our class, Holy Spirit Baptism. If you desire to speak in tongues, 
if you have been baptized with the Holy Spirit, but you don't speak in tongues, come and join us. And if you have never received Christ as your Savior, and you want to receive the Holy Spirit, come also. And the Almighty God will meet every one of us at the point of our needs. Let's share the name of true benediction. If you don't know it, repeat after me, please. I am blessed with the blessing of the Father God Almighty. I am blessed with the blessing of heaven above in Christ Jesus. I am blessed with the blessing of the field. I am blessed with the blessing of the deep within. I am blessed with the blessing of the breast. I am blessed with the blessing of the womb. I am blessed with all spiritual, material, and marital blessings this season. I am blessed when I go out and when I come in. My blessing exceeds that of my ancestors and all those who have gone ahead of me. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. See you on Monday morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember, our Believers Foundation School is going on. Meet, we'll meet today by God's grace and tomorrow evening as we close the, sec the first model by God's grace. Thank you and bye-bye.